我而家喺芝加哥歷史悠久嘅嘅大劇院門口參加呢個 James Beer Foundation 嘅終身成就獎嘅頒獎典禮。我緊啊，而家要趕住咧換翻件衫去行紅地氈。唔、哎、好意思啊，要趕要趕住換衫。With uh, Chef Martin Gan. So, Chef Gan, uh, well, all right, you said that uh, Chicago Tribune was only 200 years ago? <laughs> yes, okay. yes. Very important. Healthy, plant based food. Chiago的歷史悠久的大劇院參加這個James 我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,我出生在一個家庭,
When are you going to retire? I love my work. My work gives me pressure and satisfaction. Like Oprah Winfrey once said, if you love your work, you don't have to work a day of your life. My good friend, Joppa Penn, well into his 80s. It is keeping busy every day. I just have the great pleasure to work with Alice Water and Joppa Penn just a few days ago. We share a lot of the wonderful memories and also how we see food will be come in the future. He told me recently, he intended to work until he's 108 years old. That's Jack's words. So don't ask me when I will retire. The James Beard Foundation is unique in that it recognizes not only the excellency in culinary arts, but also its connection and contribution to our community, to this great country, U.S. of A. Over the decades, I have come to know so many of you. I'm honored to call you not only my colleague, but also my friends. I have made thousands of wonderful friends in this country and around the world. I remember when I first set foot in the U.S., there were probably about a few thousand Chinese and Asian restaurants. But in recent years, it has grown to well over 50,000. So, so you may notice many of these restaurants have my picture somewhere in the wall. That means a lot of free meals. So mention my name when you go to visit any restaurant with my picture. I have learned so much from them and also from many of you. Perhaps the most important lesson I have learned is that I am not only a chef with a public persona, but like my mentor, Julia Child, I have the opportunity to bring people together through my television work and personal appearances. And like Julia, I want to inspire others to share the joy of cooking. I have always believed that the more people learn about each other's history, heritage, culture, the more we expect and respect each other and appreciate each other. And food and cooking are universal. There's no national, international boundaries. It breaks down barriers. It brings people closer together, just like tonight. And I stand here, basking in the limelight. There are tens of thousands of culinary professionals around the world, sweating in the busy kitchen, particularly from where I came from. Asian chefs work long hours for modest pay. And typically, a challenging, in a very challenging kitchen environment, 95 degree, 95% humidity. Few of them ever get a real vacation or even take an extra day off. So from the bottom of my heart, the hardworking, all the world with the chef professionals around the world, who devote their entire life to this particular profession. This one is for you. You know, they all deserve a Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm always ready to work because food and cooking is my love and also my passion. Just like many, many thousands and millions of chefs in the country and around the world. Once again, thank you, James Beer Foundation. Thank you, all of you. You all receive the same award that I receive. You should all be given a Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you so very much, everybody. <laughs>